Hello everyone, Siri Emerald here. And this video is going to showcase my Hot Toys Iron Man 2 Mark V. Now, this is a uh, figure that came out a few years ago. And it is the uh, Movie Masterpiece series MS 145. And it comes with um, a few cool accessories. Now, if you remember, the Mark V has a, a couple of names. Uh, one name that he called it. Actually, this is the first suit that he did name. Uh, one name he called it was the football, uh, in reference to um, a suitcase that's passed around. The other one that he calls it is a suitcase, because it literally is stored as this. This is how it uh, is transported about, and his uh, bodyguard, Happy, was the one, and uh, Pepper Potts had actually brought it to him to help him deploy it uh, when he was in Monaco in the beginning of Iron Man 2. We get to see this movie. So it comes with this. This doesn't open uh, because it's not an attache case. It is literally his Iron Man suit. So as Tony progresses on, he continually makes uh, new and improved suits. And this is a lightweight little suit that he used that he could take along with him any place. So he can be able to don a suit without having to carry around a, a huge, huge suit with him. So it comes with uh, your standard figure uh, in the, the new condition with the relax, excuse me, with the articulated hands, so you can move these fingers into position, and fists, then it comes with battle damage pieces, so you have a whole battle damaged arm, and a battle damaged chest piece, and this actually goes on this way, uh, the other figures, they all go on like this, so this is uh, an upside down one, so you have to wrap your brain around that whenever you change that out, it comes with a little uh, front piece right there that's battle damage as well and so you have a repulsor palm battle damage and a relaxed palm battle damage now the reason it's blue is because he was wearing his racing suit for his stark racing uh, when he was competing at monaco and that's what you're seeing underneath there is the the blue from his racing suit that uh, he was wearing during the race so the, the piece is cool. As I said, it, it's one of the, uh, the early pieces. So um, it's different than the new diecast pieces that are out now. Uh, this moves right here on his chest. In and out. The keep you from getting paint scrubbing as you move around. A, and uh, these guys have a couple of inherent problems one is they they fade here and you see here they fade a little bit that can be fixed uh, the other problem is they end up having uh, knee joints that go bad there's a little screw by the way for those of you that have experienced this there's a little screw right inside here that uh, if you can get to it, you can tighten that screw up and that will tighten your, your knee joint and so that you don't have failing knees and he can be positioned into various knee positions without his knees failing on him. So um, he also has the rubber here. I've seen some people put grease on that keep that from degrading so you want to keep in mind when you pose this not to uh, keep it posed in too much of a position too long straight is probably the best place to have this pose for extended periods of time now the mark 5 it did have flight capabilities but not like long distance flight from my understanding it was literally just an emergency suit something you can put on it was lightweight it uh, and he could just so there's no flaps that open up here. Whether or not they were supposed to on the suit, I don't know exactly. But this is, uh, if you remember from the scene, he just literally steps on the, uh, his case and puts his fists into the case and then stands up and stretches it out and the suit just puts itself on. So I like to display this piece personally with the battle damage pieces on it and it just pulls off 
and this just goes on. And I like the relaxed palm on there, so I have the pulse palm. So we're gonna put that right there. <clears throat> now you slide this down like that to get this piece off, which makes it so that you can take this chest piece off. Snap it on like that. Slide this piece up. Put that in place. And then we'll put on it the Tony Stark head. Oh, wait a minute. What was that you said? Yours didn't come with the Tony Stark head? I wonder why. This is my custom Tony Stark head. So, literally what I did, you can imagine, let's get a little stand here so we can stand him up and not have to worry about him falling off. I have my original right here that comes with it. Right there, so this is the, uh, the one that comes with the figure. And then I bought this one. And it as well is one that comes with the figure. So, what did I do, you ask? <sighs> I drilled it out. I drilled out all the insides, drilled out the guts of it. Um, see a little rub right there as I was moving about. A couple little scratches on the outside which goes along with the line of the battle damage, that's fine. And then I put a head sculpt in here. You guys, I'm sure you recognize that head sculpt. And I, of course, had to pry the, uh, the helmet off. And I, I painted the inside of the helmet and the face plates. And then I put the magnets in here. And the magnets weren't strong enough to hold this down with just a piece of metal on here. So I had to put the magnets in there as well to make sure the polarity was good. And so of course we'll hold on there now. And it I recessed the magnets so that they'll fit in there properly as such. You see there where I tried it open that. So uh, is it perfect? No. Is it perfect for me? Oh yeah. Am I happy to have it? Oh, you better believe it. And does it complete him, in my opinion? I think it does a very good job of putting Tony in the Mark V as he should be. So, there you have it. Let's get his little neck straight there. There is my custom Mark V Tony Stark head sculpt on the Hot Toys MMS 145 Mark V from Iron Man 2. So, thanks for watching, everyone. Tell me what you think about this uh, in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up, like my videos. Follow me on Facebook at Siri.Emerald and at Twitter at Siri Emerald. And stay tuned for the next video. Happy collecting.